Hey, in this video I'm going to show you how to design this 3D printed skateboard hanger. Uh, we just got this massive snowstorm, so probably won't be using this uh, penny board for a while. But So let's jump into Fusion 360, and we're going to draw an oval. And um, I just kind of measured this out. I want it to be a little bit smaller on my wall, nothing too big. So I'm doing 25 millimeters wide and 75 millimeters tall. Now I'm adding the holes for the screws, and I'm also going to do an offset so the screw heads are flush with the surface and they're not protruding. Uh, you can see here how when I drew that sketch element uh, from that construction line, the dotted line, it also made it dotted, and we won't be able to extrude with that if it's dotted. So all you have to do is just select that circle and hit X and it'll convert it to sketch geometry. So, uh, now I'm just going to do some dimensioning to place these um, evenly apart. Um, I'm going to do 10 millimeters from the top and the bottom. And now we're going to extrude the main body, and I'm going to extrude the screw holes right now too. I want to leave that solid and I'm going to do some stuff with that later, but we have that sketch saved for when we want to go and extrude these um, at a, a later step. Okay, now that we have that extruded, I'm going to do a new sketch, and I'm going to choose this plane that's directly through the middle of this oval. And I'm going to select my geometry that's already there and hit P to project it. And I'm going to draw a circle here, and I'm going to do it the I'm measuring my wheels, and I want to make it just slightly bigger. I'm going to do about 2 millimeters bigger than the diameter of the wheel, so I'm doing 60 millimeters here. And if you select that circle and then the top of the oval that we projected, and you can hit tangent and that will lock that right to it. And now we're going to do an offset of 12 millimeters uh, just for some extra strength here. And this is going to serve as the, the base to hold the, the wheel. Now I'm also going to draw a line uh, down to the bottom to act as another extra support just to give it some extra strength. And now I'm drawing some lines downward because we're going to chop this circle up a little bit. And I don't need it to be a full circle, so I'm going to chop this off right about there. And you want to have a little bit of lip coming over so the wheel doesn't just roll off when it's sitting on the wall. Um, actually, since doing this one, I reprinted it to have a little bit more of a lip. Uh, now just cleaning up some of this extra uh, sketch geometry that I don't need. And I'm also going to add a fillet to the bottom down here. Um, I noticed in printing that it kind of was looking a little uh, crummy right there with the overhang. So I'm adding this just so it's a little bit more gentle for the 3D printer. Now I'm going to select the main uh, sketch there and do a symmetric extrude. And I'm going to extend it past the surface and it's going to look weird, um, but we're going to fix that in just uh, in the next step. And now we can choose that spine that we created on the back and do another symmetrical extrude. And this is that extra support that we're going to have uh, to give it some more strength. Now to get rid of that uh, overhang that we have, we're going to go back to our original oval that we sketched and select that. And we're going to do an intersect operation. And that's going to cut away everything that's outside of that oval shape. So now we pretty much have this almost finished. And now we're going to add the holes for the screw mounting. So first we're going to sketch the smaller diameter hole. This is the, what the pilot hole for the screw to go in. And I'm going to extrude this through all, and that's going to cut everything away. And now the next thing I want to do is select that offset that we did. And I'm going to do a uh, offset of two millimeters and then extrude it all the way up. So that's going to give me two millimeters from the floor of that. And that measures out to what I had for my screw head to fit in there perfectly flush. And next thing we're going to do is just, uh, this is optional, I'm just going to add some fillets in here. Um, most of this is cosmetic, but some of the fillets on sharp corners when you 3D print will actually give you a little bit more strength and it won't just snap right off. So um, just adding some extra little, little strength here and um, tweaking it until I Kind of get a look that I like. And I'm also adding a fillet along the bottom because that helps remove it from the print bed. 
So now we have our uh, finished part, and now that we have the way we like it, we can just click on it and go to Make and in Fusion, and it will actually import this directly into Cura. So just rotating it around, and I'm going to multiply this object, so I have two of them. And uh, just go ahead and print it. And uh, I'm printing this in PETG. It's really strong, really easy to print with. Um, since this part was built so robustly, I think you can get away with pretty much any material that you have on hand, but I really like PETG. Uh, it prints nice, easy to work with, and it's really strong. So now just uh, adding a couple screws to attach it to my wall, and um, putting them both up there, and uh, I made sure they were both level to each other so it doesn't kind of rock when it's on the wall. So just testing it for strength here, and um, it's actually quite strong. Um, I was kind of surprised. I thought it was going to have more of a flex to it, but it's pretty robust, and um, it's actually working out perfect. So you can see there, you can just quickly grab it on your way out, and uh, you're good to go. So thank you very much for watching this video. Hopefully you learned something. If you did or did not, give it a thumbs up or thumbs down. And um, if you have any questions, leave them below. And as always, I will put a link to this file so you can download your own. But I do encourage you to try to make your own. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you, we'll see you later. All right, bye.